Hello and welcome to another year. Another year of dank memes. Another year of dank people. Another year of dank anime. Now, I don't say this as like a, oh my god, this season is gonna be trash. I actually say this as a, as a precognition. I made up that fucking word. I try to sound smart. I'm sorry. Okay, we're talking about winter 2022 anime. I know we went through a lot this year. You know, we had the the, the variants. We still got the um, Megacron, Optimus Prime. We have we have another thing going on, but we're gonna be okay because listen, all you have to do to, to be able to not get this sickness is to come back and just embrace the good energy of Caleb Sama. Okay, let me stop. So. If you guys are excited, please go and smack a like down below. And also, you know, hit your boy with a comment because I do read all the comments. And also, I shout you guys out. So, shout out to Cole the Giant Bear who commented, I literally just found this channel pretty epic. Hope it spreads throughout the algorithm. Good luck to you. Now, good luck to you, my friend. Thank you so much for the love. I really do appreciate it. Now, I always go and shout you guys out in the beginning or end or the end of the video if I forget. But I appreciate the love that you guys go and put throughout this algorithm of shit. Thank you guys so much for uh, being here. Now let's just hop straight into the video. Okay, so where we're gonna go first before we start watching actual clips is that we're gonna go on my anime list and we're just gonna be looking through all the different types of like anime synopsises, the photos, just to, so we can get a little bit more hype in, into like, you know, getting to actually watch the series. So one anime series, which just got me right off the gate, right? Right when I just went onto the website, I have to say has to be now, Attack on Titan Final Season Part 2. Now, everybody already knew about all the hypeness, all the, like, legitness of Eren and him being a fucking psychopath. I'm not even gonna lie. Man's low-key kind of crazy. I, I felt like, you know, one thing that really drove me to watching Attack on Titan, opposed from the, you know, the really gory s animation, which Levi and, and, and my, my dog Mika saw, you know, I have to say they really tested the boundaries with this anime. Look at Aaron in this photo, like, they're making this man look like an actual god, which is kind of crazy because remember the crybaby bits we used to have, like, it's crazy. It, all I have to say, love it. Can't wait to watch it. Um, next thing we got is a personal favorite of mine. It was called, uh, well, I can't pronounce anime names for the life of me. I'm sorry, I can't, but I'm gonna try my best. Afrita Shokyuga de Shikai Sakayo. Hey, yo, bro, I'm sorry. I'm, tr I'm not trying to disrespect the culture. I appreciate you guys. I'm just trying to do my best. Yo, all I have to say, this anime definitely, if you want an authentically good harem anime, and I'm, I'm not talking about like some lighthearted, like, oh, you see the love triangle where we're trying to get together, we kind of love each other, but then we don't. Like, this anime right here actually has every single aspect that I'm looking for in an anime, which I'm not toxic. I'm just saying that this is the stuff that I like in an anime to make it good. So, main character. Went through a lot of stuff. Transported to another universe. Yes, we're talking about transportations. Yeah, transported to another universe, and this man was the weakest of the bunch. Now, why do I like weak characters? Am I trying to say I'm the underdog? No, I'm not. Yes, I am. But I'm just saying that what I really like about him is that this man was in a whole, like, dungeon. He fell to the bottom of the dungeon because one is his, his, um, his, uh, how do I say this? His classmates. Went and attacked them. He fell to the bottom of the abyss. Being the weakest character, was getting pushed around by all these monsters. But then my boy triumphed, got out, and became a fucking badass and got like six bitches with them. Uh, I mean, six independent women. <laughs> if you want a really good, authentically harem anime, you gotta watch this thing. It's so good. Season one was so good. Love the way it ended and the opening song. Moving on, so this one was released on Funimation, which was, it wasn't that bad, have to be honest. It was called How a Realist Hero, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to pronounce the, the kanji, or I'm gonna do it. Genshu Shigai Shusha no Hoku Season two. <laughs> I'm not coming crazy, I, I'm trying my best. I have to take lessons, but, just to kind of translate it, it's called How a Realist Hero Rebuilt the Kingdom. Now, the one thing I really, really like about 
this anime. It's because it has another transportation to it. He came from one world to another. I have to say, I just love transportation anime. I hate this world, but this Omegatron virus, corona and all this shit, I'm trying to get the fuck out of here. Like, I'm, I'm trying to get out. But anyways, like, this anime definitely has like a lot of banger material because now you're bringing a realist person who has economic smarts, super smart, who knows about like leveraging money and doing all this stuff and basically making the kingdom a better place by using government smarts. Um, you read the description yourself. It's not super action packed, even though like, um, you know, the main character is not super action-y, but if I have to say, it has pretty decent action parts, but what I really liked about this thing, if I have to be honest, was just like how strategically amazing this man was. Like I have to say, everyone was against him being coming the new king. They actually was trying to sacrifice him the first few episodes until he was like, put some respect on my mother name. Great anime, check it out. Okay, another anime that I actually want to see, which honestly, it kind of got me a little annoyed, not gonna lie. It, it was it was dope for the first season, but then I just, one thing I don't like about most romance comedy animes, yes, okay, they're in middle school, it's not that serious. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys were in middle school and did stuff like this. Me, I was, think, I was thinking about Legos and, and playing with my Nintendo and, and all this stuff, but then back in my school, Everyone there had girlfriends and boyfriends and and they were fucking and shit like they were going crazy Like I'm gonna be honest like my mom always or my parents always put me in good schools But then didn't mean that the kids were good because I was thinking about some wholesome stuff playing with my Legos Well, I see like this girl like literally pregnant in school. It was crazy I know this has nothing to do with the overall anime which yes in Japan, in Japan, maybe school is like, you know, super wholesome and, and amazing. Yeah, but this new season of Tada, Taga, ta, I, uh, Takagi san, season three, definitely had a lot of like funny elements because it's just Taga, ta, 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 Takagi 69. It's just Takagi san messing with the main, the, the other character. They're both the main characters, but then like it was just this whole funny thing with like them being lighthearted and all this stuff and enjoying their middle school years, which honestly I have to say very, very wholesome. But, but if I have to be honest, like I kind of got tired of it, which maybe hey, season three might actually develop into more of a romance thing. You never know. Again, yes, they are in middle school. I shouldn't be talking too much about this, but I have to say definitely do like there's how there's another season and I'm very much going to be anticipating this this time around. Oh, this one looks pretty cool. And that translates to the strongest sage with the weakest crest. Now I can already tell what this is about to be. You're gonna have your, your badass anime MC, which this guy looks like Kirito Loki. And then he has his three girlfriends. And then I have to say, okay, not girlfriends, but three, let's say um, supporting characters or let's say friends, Nakama, he's three Nakama. And then like, Buddy's just gonna be OP as heck doing everything. Like, and people just think that he's a weak guy. And hey, maybe he might have a little uprising himself. He looks like he probably was transported to another world. You never know. But it's gonna be something like that. It's full of magic and stuff. He's gonna be badass. And I think I'm gonna wanna watch this thing also. First trailer we're gonna look at is Sono Biske Do Wako Wo Let's do it. Oh, he's a mannequin maker or a doll maker. Hey, yo! <laughs> First of all, how are you going to introduce a character with her flying back like she's in a panic at the disco music video? I have to say. She's probably an e-girl. She looked like she has some e-girl vibes to her. A little bit too much on the foundation, honey. But like, look, you're, you're killing it, though. Cute, vibrant energy. I'm liking it. Whoa. Hey, yo. Okay, and she has 
a darkness to her. Hopefully she doesn't do anything crazy, which I could tell that she's probably gonna be like the underdog here because like you could tell that this man, just from him pointing, her looking at her with the side eye and the girl, lady at the counter acting like she doesn't even know what the fuck's going on. I can already tell that everyone, like she's probably like someone who is not really appreciated out there. I have to say, this seems very toxic right here. Hopefully, as you know, she develops into like a really good character that I can actually love, which I feel like maybe she is because like she, I can just tell from like her laughing, smiling, having different emotions is that she's actually gonna be very interesting. Very strong person. Got it. ねそれを日野様この日野様ご城くんが作ったのえ違います俺はまだ服作るぐらいしかできなくて服作れんのご城いいですねえよあああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああ